Hello again, I'm Doodle Gabby, and I'm back with this week's Speed Paint. The next three characters are the last one I have on my list who make their first appearance in Fire and Ice. After that, we're moving on to the characters who make their first appearance in Forest of Secrets. This strategy of going through the family trees having the effect that I hoped it would, introducing the characters in small batches like this, is much less overwhelming than looking at a family tree with everybody, and I haven't drawn a single one yet. First up is Morningflower, One Star a Dashfoot sister, and Gorse Paw's mother. I really like her soft color palette here. I wanted her to look cute and friendly, like a cat that could have been part of Firestar's friend group had he been in Wind Clan instead of Thunder Clan, which is kind of the vibe that I get from her One Whisker and Gorse Paw. Her tail having thinner fur kind of stuck out like a sore thumb, so I gave her that little tuft at the end to help it to fit in with the rest of her design better. Her and Ashfoot are kind of on opposite ends of the design spectrum, and I wanted One Star to be the middle between them. One star. I wanted him to look both soft and pointy, like a middle ground between Ashfoot and Morningflower. I wanted his design to suit both being Firestar's close friend and being a grouchy leader who picks fights over everything with everybody. I really like how this design came out. It it looks like One Star to me. Like this is pretty much how I imagine him. Couldn't forget to put his one whisker he's named after either. He and maybe Feather Whisker are probably going to be the only ones with visible whiskers. The Warriors website had a poll for which character is the most easy to forgive. They had Leopard Star, Black Star, Sky Star, and One Star. I picked One Star because while he is a jerk, he didn't ever try or succeed to kill anyone. The worst he did, from what I remember, is keep herbs from sick clans, but even then, again going from my memory, the medicine cat would always just sneak the herbs to the other clan anyway, so like it doesn't matter. Leopard Star let four cats be wrongfully imprisoned and let one of them be murdered. Black Star's the one who murdered him. And Sky Star's actions have led to more deaths than One Star's ever did. So while I don't like One Star, if I had to forgive one of them, it would probably be One Star. Gorsepaw, another cat in the ever-growing list of cats who deserved better. Gorsepaw was shy at a gathering in one scene, so that is his personality that is now how I imagine him forever. I kind of wish we had gotten more scenes of both him and Morningflower talking with Firestar. I feel like it would have given his death more impact beyond- Ah, oh, Firestar carried him all that way for nothing. The Warriors Wiki says he was brown. That's wrong. It just is. He's bright orange and has a weird flame tuft like Firestar, and Tigerstar was projecting. It's canon forever now. Gave him his Aunt Ashfoot's blue eyes because it stuck out more. And the fluffy tail tip from his mom.
Next up is Crowfer, a simple design for a simple character. This guy is never in the allegiances and he only shows up once at a gathering. To be snappy with Firestar and complain about kids these days. Didn't want to make the patches on his fur too complicated, so I just gave him one and made his hair look kind of scraggy. Here's a character who was kind of interesting in that they introduced him in a field guide and actually remembered to use him in another book, specifically the novella Tigerstar's Fury. Night Whisper is one of Tigerstar's henchmen in that book, but he's more interesting because from that field guide we know what his thought process is. He's not really evil and clearly doesn't step out of line at all after Tigerstar's death because he's never mentioned again, but he sees the best way to serve his clan as fighting. From his entry in the field guide though, he does seem genuinely invested in clan life and the warrior code. I think he's a pretty cool character. Are we ever gonna get anything for uh, Jagged Tooth? Also, his old name was Mowgli, and I don't know why, but that's funny to me. It's like with those cats named Zelda and Loki. Last but not least is Greenflower. The first series kind of has this problem, where instead of looking at the allegiances, the errands would just make up cats on the spot to fill a quick scene. Unfortunately for Greenflower, she wasn't just that, but she was supposed to fill an important role. She was supposed to be the cat who had raised Feather Kit and Storm Kit, but because she was never in the allegiances, by the next book she was forgotten about, and instead they were raised by Moss Pelt. Anyway, I made Greenflower cute. Oh, I managed to remember the green carnation I wanted to put on her ear, but I couldn't remember that she has a white splash on her chest and a one white paw. Those two little details will be added before I post her to Tumblr, DeviantArt, or Twitter. All accounts that you can find in the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this speed paint and want to see more. We are officially in Forest of Secrets. We're moving along. It's slow going. I'm gonna remember to take breaks to do other kinds of speed paint so I don't get burnout from drawing cats. And I'm also working on getting you guys new content that'll be exciting and fun, and I'm really happy that I'm gonna get to do it soon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next week. Bye!